Hello everyone. Let's continue our discussion with yellow flower this time. And yellow is again the secondary color as you see over here. And the red color, sorry, yellow color is made up of red and green. And yellow color substances, they are made up of pigments that absorb its complementary color that is blue. So now this yellow flower is made up of pigments that are capable of absorbing only blue color. So if we impart white light on it, white light is made up of red, blue and green all combined together. Red, blue, green. Now as we discussed that the complementary color of yellow is blue. So blue is going to get absorbed and red and green are not going to get absorbed. So red and green they are reflected and finally comes to our eye and red and green they combine together midway to form yellow light so white light when falls on yellow flower blue gets absorbed red and green doesn't get absorbed mixed together in the reflected light and we perceive the flower color as yellow let's impart red color light on it now this red color light is not going to get absorbed by the pigments of the yellow flower so red is entirely going to get reflected and reaches our eye so we see the yellow rose as red in red light if we impart blue color Now this blue color will be totally getting absorbed by the pigments so no light reaches our eye and that's why we see the black we see yellow flower as black in blue light if we impart green color green color also doesn't get absorbed so totally gets reflected comes to our eye as reflected light so in green light yellow flower appears green to us now let's impart some magenta light on it so magenta light now magenta is made up of red and blue so we can also consider this magenta light to be made up of red and blue light together and we know that the blue light will be totally getting absorbed by the pigments now so blue light is not going to be there in the reflected light so in the reflected light we will only see red color which is going to reach our eye so the yellow rose appears red in magenta light now let's impart cyan light on it cyan is made up of blue and green so we can consider that the cyan light is made up of two colors that is blue and green and as we discussed that these pigments are going to absorb blue color so blue color is going to get absorbed so green color will be there in the reflected light finally reaching our eye and we perceive yellow rose as green in cyan light okay and the last light remaining is now yellow so if we impart yellow light yellow light is again made up of red and green red and green so we can consider red and green light falling together as yellow we know that it only this flower is only capable of absorbing blue light which is missing over here so what happens is red and green are going to get totally reflected red and green and we see that in the reflected light which mixes together to form yellow so the yellow flowers appear flower appears yellow in yellow as well as white light 